The Presidential Task Force on COVID-19 has said the Federal Ministry of Health has shortlisted for further investigations three Nigerian drugs which have the potential to cure COVID-19 or treat its symptoms. Chairman of the Task Force and Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa, made this known at the PTF press conference in Abuja, where the Ministry of Health warned that Nigeria's health system could not cope with increasing COVID-19 cases. But Mustafa said three shortlisted drugs would be subjected to further investigations by relevant health agency. The SGF noted that, and I quote, as a measure of the importance attached to research and development of local capacity for finding a cure to COVID-19, the Federal Ministry of Health held a virtual meeting with a number of researchers and scientists with claims to cure for, with cure, with claims to cure COVID-19 and out of numerous claimants, Three were found to deserve further investigation and have been forwarded to the relevant authorities for appropriate review. End of quote. The task force also backed the decision of the World Health Organization to suspend clinical trials of hydroxychloroquine for the treatment of coronavirus. And joining us live via Zoom is Joe Eboigbe. He is a legal practitioner. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Thank you for being with us, Joe. Uh, the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19 has disclosed that three out of the numerous claims of COVID-19 local cure have been validated and forwarded for further investigation. How hopeful are you that Nigeria might come up with a local remedy for COVID-19? Well, I am positive about that. I am hoping that uh, we expedite the clinical examination and re-examination to confirm the effectiveness of these drugs. You see, it has never been uh, for want or for lack of expertise that has deprived us as a people from uh, having cure. I think the government was just not prepared uh, with, uh, uh, with our general health sector and then the COVID-19 met us unprepared and shocked. So, I am positive that if we look inwards, we can actually get a uh, uh, cure for COVID-19. We, we have very sound medical practitioners. We even have trado practitioners who can uh, go into the uh, trado medicine and find cures for COVID-19. Right. I'm positive. Okay. As you do know, uh, contact tracing is still ongoing. Considering that we, you know, the country, many states have reached the community transmission stage, uh, shouldn't we, you know, give up that and focus on those that present with symptoms? Did well, you get I my think, question? I think, I think the major challenge is actually that we do not have the facilities to... Uh, continue the contact tracing. I mean, even those who willfully go to isolation centers are turned back. The isolation centers we had are filled up. So uh, whether they are tracing contacts and then ask them to remain at home, at home for treatment, it's uh, something I'm not sure is a positive approach to containing the uh, spread of COVID-19. I think basically what we should emphasize now would be to see if we can get a cure and then begin to learn new ways to live with this unfortunate situation. All right, a little bit away from the cure and the search for that. The PTF on COVID-19 yesterday alluded to the possibility of reopening schools. There were talks about sectionalizing classes for primary, you know, for secondary and tertiary institutions in the country in spite of, you know, the coronavirus pandemic not abating. What's your thoughts on this? I do not think it is time to reopen schools. I do not think our children should be put at such risk. I do not see uh, the possibility of our health sector being able to manage a full-blown crisis in this country. So why expose our children to further risk? They're at home with us, we are managing them. Even whilst they're at home, we are still uh, being informed that they are fed in school. So. I mean, you understand the level of mistrust and distrust from us, the road, and our rulers. Joe, finally, before we let you go, what's your take on the position, you know, of NAFDAQ saying it will continue clinical trials for chloroquine in spite of, you know, uh, World Health asking that that be suspended? Well, I, I 
I think uh, NAVDAC ha uh, has what is required of them to conduct whatever clinical trials they want to. And uh, you can't ask us to suspend what we suspect will work when you have not given us an alternative. As we speak, there is really no alternative from uh, the WHO as to what other uh, drugs we can use as trial drugs for COVID-19. In my view, we should not stop testing. We should not. We should test everything we can to see if we can locally uh, get cure for COVID. All right, legal practitioner Joe, thank you so very much for your time with us, and do stay safe out there. Thank you.